Well, more than 10,000 wine industry officials are in the capital city tonight getting a taste of some new technology. Grape growing is our state's second largest crop with vineyards spread across more than 600,000 acres of the state. So tonight we're getting answers on how this new tech is being used to help overcome industry challenges. Wine and grape production is big business in California. The wine economy is incredibly important. We're estimated at about $70 billion a year in annual economic activity. But it's a challenging time to be a winemaker. We are in a little bit of a slump right now. Grape growers like Natalie Collins are facing environmental setbacks, including drought, wildfires, pests, and disease. We have, you know, some tough years ahead of us, but I think our industry is very resilient. And she says wine sales are down because of competition from other alcoholic beverages, putting additional pressures on family farmers. People are in this for generations. No one wants to be the generation that gives up, that doesn't innovate, that doesn't continue to move forward. So wine industry experts from across the world are in Sacramento this week at the 30th annual Unified Wine and Grape Symposium, showcasing new scientific research and technology that can help sustain the industry. So it is that opportunity to come together, bring our collective minds together, and really try to tackle those industry issues. The exposition has technology on display, like these high-tech tractors that can monitor crops in real time. And there's presentations on emerging technologies, like using hyperspectral cameras to detect disease. Think about it as um, different bands of light that we can't see with our own eyes. They're even incorporating artificial intelligence into the grape growing process. They can really look at huge, huge huge sums of data and find patterns and associations that we may not see on our own. It's an outpouring effort to keep the wine industry aging gracefully for years to come. A big part of the wine and grape industry is our ability to be innovative. Now, whatever works to keep that wine coming, winemakers are also facing new regulations that will require putting nutrient and ingredient labeling on bottles sold in Europe. And those rules could also be required here in the U.S. in the coming years.